They will tell me when I gaze into your eyes that they are no deeper than the diameter of the ball, that the ripples of flowing colour on the ocean of your iris which my entire soul swims in are only nanometers deep. They'll tell me that the thousands of nerve endings that line the infinitely unique hills and swirling valleys sculpted on the tips of my fingers cannot possibly tell me the warmth of your love or the softness of the affection of your care. They'll tell me they're confused why we go through the courting of a kiss, our locked lips exploring the oxytocin-filled abyss as the winds of lust and love sail my hands across your skin. As I flutter by the butterflies, I hope are in your stomach too. Now tell me that this feeling of falling into one equaling two is just a trick played by endorphins coursing through my veins. But I'll ask them, why despite having the ability to perform surgery with a robot controlled laser on my brain, they still can't explain to me how a consciousness exists that allows them to even comprehend my question. Smug. <laughs> I'll ask them if they can give me an equation that in its perfection describes the endless flow to you. From your parents and grandparents back through all the generations, back through every single period in humanity civilization. Against the odds of war and plague in every city that was ever built or raised or back when the most advanced technology our eyes had witnessed was aflame. Or we first walked tall on all fours as apes. Or that first generation to leave their parents behind as they crawled out the sea, just as generations before them had learnt to swim and eat, all descendants of the single cell that broke through the limits of its own wall and learned to divide itself. And I'll ask them if the uninterrupted passing of this life to you over four billion years is statistically a miracle. And as I stand, peering over the bridge near Wilson Junction Station, watching the hills and swirling valleys on the faces that rumble in carriages beneath my feet. And I can touch the sun as it rises over our beautiful city of tarmac and brick and concrete as it graffitis the cloud and smog with sprays of oranges and pinks. And I will measure with my heart the things they cannot weigh. Until we reach the day where those same eyes that I've swum my lifetime in are framed by creases etched by laughter on your life-stained skin. Now I'll ask them why we cannot evolve past getting old. And you will tell me that it is only through hearing the whisper of the breath of tomorrow's goodbye will we think to ask the question, not why is it we die? Why are we alive? Thank you. So I look like I was clapping myself there. I'm going to excuse cold hands.